and we're talking with Dr. Gregory Jantz. And I really enjoy our conversation. I don't feel like it's a spanking. No. You oh. know, so many times when oh. people get on this subject, it, it's like, you know, oh, wow. Well, we, and we can feel guilty or I should be doing this. And yeah, that. right. Yeah. You yeah. Know, what are some of the fundamentals of good health? Well, one of the first things I want people to think about is, is how can I increase my activity? And what we have a little thing at our, our house, we, we call ourselves the Jantz team. The Jantz team, we're, we're active. We're an active team. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, I'm just seeing the difference, um, and just some basic fundamentals when my boys see what I'm doing and how they want to participate in it mm -hmm. as well. Because we can make this fun. We can yeah. make exercise fun. Absolutely. And so we need to do that. That's one of the first and, things. And of course, conversely, if you never see your parents, yes. your primary source, doing anything that's exercise, activity. Activity, yeah, yeah. Then you imprint on that, yeah. you know, and so, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, I think, too, we need to see ourselves and begin to ask God to help us. Say, mm -hmm. Lord, I want to be healthy. I want to mm -hmm. know, I take care of my temple. Mm -hmm. And I, I do, and, I, and I, I want to be here to fulfill the purposes that you have for me, so I know I need to be healthy to do that. I want to be a good example uh, with my health, and just, you know, I would pray and just listen to the Lord about what are the things I need to change. Mm -hmm. um, you know that we talked about uh, the fundamentals. Well, I've got to get emotionally healthy. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's a big one. Um, am I eating out of resentments, for example? Yeah. Am I eating my resentments? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. The next fundamental is is drinking water. You know, people are just as an observation don't drink enough clean water. They drink too many sodas and cokes, and mm -hmm. that's not good. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, water makes a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when people come to us, uh, they get a water bottle. And on the water bottle, it lists all the benefits of water. It's part of the packaging. Mm -hmm. they and water improves mood, improves digestion. Did you get that? Water improves mood. Water can uh, help you with your IQ, your irritability quotient. <laughs> is that so we have a little joke around our office. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody's a little yeah. cranky. Yeah, you you're drinking your water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of a replay on that. You need to drink. <laughs> yeah. So, exactly. Okay. So yeah. have a drink of water. Mm -hmm. yeah. I yes. think I will. <laughs> well, you, you also mentioned in your book that we should encourage people to keep track of their eating habits. Okay. What do they eat? Here's a great experiment. We talked about making changes over the next 30 days. Do this. Write down everything that goes in your mouth. You can do it for a week. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just keep a little journal. All beverages, everything, all pills, whatever. Everything, yeah. anything goes in, just log that. Um, and be honest with it. Because um, a lot of times we go, whoa, if I keep eating at the end of the week, if I keep eating this way, what am I going to look like in next year? What am mm -hmm. I going to look like in the next five years? Mm -hmm. um, so by... By writing it down, it really does add some accountability. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with exercise, yeah. keeping track I, of that. I, I do. Yeah. I have a little chart. That helps me. Um, and I, I work with balance. I'm working in averages. Um, if something occurs one day and, and you know, I'm not going to be all wound up if I didn't get to do my exercise. Right. Okay. No, I, I'm just going to keep going. I'm, I'm going to be uh, get it in the next time. Cause this is life. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Stuff does happen. <laughs> sure. I, I, right. think, I think we've done that too, you know, and, and we try to eat well, but you know, if there's a birthday party, I'm going to have a piece of birthday cake. Oh, yeah. So can you see, we, I'm not talking to people mm -hmm. or talking people into trying to be obsessed with this. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If we're renewing our mind, asking the Lord, show me. And I think there really is, is important to, to bless our food and yeah. sanctify mm -hmm. it to our bodies. You know, good grief. Sometimes if you know, Something is before you, and it's not that healthy. I'm, I'm going to pray about it. Yeah. And I'm going to bless the Lord. Bless this yeah. Lord. Yeah. But if I have a habitual pattern of, of, of not making good choices, you know, and I, then I'm expecting God, you know, to... Mm -hmm. To do it all. To do it all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's Some people idea. have mistaken ideas about dieting. I, I don't believe in the word dieting. Yes. I think it should be stricken from the vocabulary. <laughs> it's got to be a way of life, isn't it? It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just see, I'm a, I'm a healthy person. Mm -hmm. and, and What's an example of comfort eating? Oh, oh, comfort eating. Well, there could be some folks right now doing comfort eating as they're watching, watching us. us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> okay. Um, comfort eating means I'm turning to food. Uh, in order to feel better. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And some folks, uh, instead of working out whatever's upsetting to them or, or appropriately dealing with 
with their emotions. They turn to food. As I said earlier, food is the drug of choice. Mm. Food provides me comfort. And you think about it, food was, as a, as a baby, that's your first source of comfort. Mm -hmm. And so now as an adult, you're turning to food really um, to comfort you emotionally. Mm. That's why I said that this is an inside job. Food can't comfort, comfort you emotionally. It can numb you short term, mm -hmm. numb, numb, numb you out. Mm -hmm. Right. But the next step is regret. I will always regret comfort eating. Now here's the thing. A lot of people do this blindly. They don't even realize they're doing it. They're the grazers. They're grazing, grazers. Through, they're grazing throughout the day eating. It's just comfort eating all day long. Mm -hmm. Now there is another person that I would describe as a food addict. They're the person that's hiding food and, and like an alcoholic might hide alcohol mm -hmm. um, they're, and food and the chocolate and they, you know, they're the food addict and mm -hmm. it, it, it's gone even to another, so there's comfort eating, grazing, and then probably more of a true food addict. Mm -hmm. so, now, when I was growing up, people always talked about you need three square meals Oh yeah, those square meals. I think we need to do common sense and mm -hmm. also listening to your body. You know, it is true, we've heard it said before many times, but breakfast is one of the most important meals to fuel the body f for mm -hmm. the day, get the blood sugar uh, back up. What and would you eat for breakfast? Well, I'm, I'm big on protein. Okay. Um, I will even do a protein drink um, mm -hmm. as well um, because we work a lot with people with eating disorders. Uh, I actually even design some, a protein, some protein drinks that help digest easily. Mm. And so I'm, I'm Drinking my own stuff. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> good. You know, well, you know, <laughs> eggs are protein, yogurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm always going to try to aim for some protein. Okay. Because yeah, people eat too many carbs, and carbs yes. are what make them huge. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, do you think weight gain and stress go hand in hand? Oh boy, yes. Weight and stress. Two two ways of healing. Or people deal with food and stress. If a lot of stress, some depending on their coping style, stop eating. You know, they just they're. They're moving away from food. They're so yeah. stressed out, they don't have an appetite. Mm -hmm. The other person is living a lifestyle of stress, and they're the ones that are using food as a source of comfort uh, to, 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 to lower stress. And you have this thinking in your mind that says, I'm stressed out, I deserve this. Your last chapter in this book, The Body God Designed, yes. uh, talks about the importance of godliness, yes. which I think is an interesting subject for a book like yeah. this. This is where I want us to know that the foundation of our success is going to be uh, our relationship with Christ. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is I, I want to keep growing that, renewing my mind, and also seeing my body as, as the scriptures say, as, as a temple, l learn how to care for it, and I think we need to also praise God and thank Him that He's, he's uh, working within my body, I'm making good choices. Um, but as you increase in gratitude, it's a whole lot easier to make a lot of these other changes. Now I know if you're looking sure. in the mirror going, there ain't much to be grateful for, and you're looking at yourself going, no, no, no. no. Be grateful that you can change. It, it's a faith Indeed. thing. Indeed. It, it is. Faith it is walk. a faith thing, it's yes. A faith walk. Indeed. Yeah. You'll want to get a copy of Dr. Gregory Jantz's book, The Body God Design How to Love the Body You've Got. Why you get the body you want. <laughs> All for BP 47. Go to miraclechannel.ca. $23, and that includes shipping and handling. Gregory, yes, thank you yes. so thank much, you sir. So much. It's been a privilege yes. talking with you, you today.